I said, I was actually looking forward to Rihanna's halftime show, but damn, that was boring. WTF, Riri. <laughs> and somebody very offended on the oh, response yeah. was like, were, look, were. I know she's not your thing. What are you talking about? I just said that I, I was, was really looking mm, forward Really to excited it. about it. I was singing Rihanna songs on the air uh-huh. leading up to the Super Bowl. We play the Rihanna song. I mean, what else do you want me to do? Right. I like Rihanna. This is nothing against Rihanna. Uh-huh. I'm just critiquing the halftime performance. I asked you on the uh, text to send over, did you like the halftime performance? Yes or no. Now, I do realize that there are people who, and it's this way with every halftime. Of course. You can't oh, please all the people. Right. Maybe her music or whatever is not for you. Has there ever been one where people are like, I love that? <laughs> yeah, like a but- majority? No, I can't remember. I one. can't remember one either. I mean, not from just my like not the, from my adult life. The only thing that is like stand out where people were like, "I loved it," was the Whitney Houston um, anthem. Not, anthem. That's yeah. It. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just uh, I'm looking on the text. I don't really see anything. I don't, I don't see anybody on this. It was like, oh my god. Yeah, it's kind of black. Slay Queen. Like what I've seen, like on the on the comments, like Rihanna killed well, those it are in some like of the articles or whatever. Super but, fans that say that. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, Menace, I mean, you're a big uh, I, I'm a Rihanna fan, person. but the second, like, the first 20 seconds where I saw that she was pregnant, I'm like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. Because um, all of her, like, surprise guests are not available. You have Eminem, who already did it last year. Jay-Z was there. Hold on. But Jay-Z is most likely going to do the Super Bowl, so he's not going to come out as a guest. But, like, why not? Why couldn't he come out and be a guest? Because he's probably going to do it next year. For two of her songs. What makes you say that? I'm just thinking because either he's going to come out, either Beyonce's going to do it next year, and then he's going to come out during her set, or he's going to do it. Didn't Beyonce just do it? Or, oh, well, she probably... was the power out Super Bowl. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. probably Jay-Z will probably be doing it next year. So he's not going to come out. And then, then, you have Kanye, then you have Kanye. He's canceled. Kanye? I, I wasn't expecting Kanye. I but I'm just saying, to, you, to make up for her being pregnant, you're going to have to have some surprise guests. And all of her like big surprise guests are not available. I was expecting, because they kept saying, so, oh, Jay-Z's here. I'm yeah. like, okay, well. And he's here for Rihanna. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But like you know, I, I I don't know. I'm like, thinking he's he's gonna be out next year. Yeah, it was you know what it was. It, the the energy of it was just so. It was very bluff. subdued. And then we, we talked mm-hmm. about like uh, there was a prop bet for what her last song would be, what her first song would be, and we mm-hmm. all agreed that we didn't think she was gonna go out with a slow song, but she went out with diamonds. Diamonds. diamonds yeah. Yeah. Ugh. God. They, they, so the <laughs> end on that was just so bland. It was I, so boring. I can't put my finger on mm-hmm. it. I liked it a lot. You did? Uh, yeah, I liked the floating stages. I mean, uh, that part was cool. I, did I liked like... the number of dancers. I thought the, granted, she's pregnant. She can't bounce around too much, but she did a great job. But I thought mm-hmm. I thought it was really entertaining. And the thing, like, yeah. I did like the floating stages. It was but visually it was, appealing. It was the same thing the entire right, time. There was no, it never stopped. There was like, no they switch up. There was no true. Else. But I remember you guys yeah. said you were bored with the weekend doing the. Oh, half-touch. that was uh, what that, that more was do you awful. want? That I was mean, a bore. What, fest. I think the word boring doesn't apply. But no, I the, think the weekend I, was terrible. Yeah. No way. I think the oh, beginning of awful. the performance was great. That I liked the ending, even though you didn't like the ending. Uh, the middle part, yeah, it's just missing like some surprise in the middle. That's all. I would take a weekend all day. Oh God, no! Really? At least there was Snooze some fast. energy to that. Well, how was that? Okay, <laughs> I, it, we're not going to meet in the middle here. <laughs> I don't see how it was boring. But what was not boring about it? Besides, uh, you like the stages. Uh, every the I liked the way they mixed all the hits together. I liked the yeah. I liked the floating stages. I liked the dancers. I liked that it mm-hmm. it kind of gave me a Squid Games vibe, like the dancers that were kind of anonymous. You know, you couldn't tell one from the other. Um, the sheer number of dancers. I liked. I mean, for what limited capacity she was in, because okay. Anaconda kind of pregnant. And you know what? This what makes the world looked, great. She was good. <laughs> Not yeah. everybody can be right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I just Get thought it was very forgettable. Yeah. Oh, wow. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not really going to get into the uh, what happened in the game. Anybody who cares already knows. Um, but uh, I'm uh, I'm just looking at some of the commercials and to see what was going on there as far as like what people really liked. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the one that uh, is getting a lot of action is that Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, really? Duncan, Duncan Super Bowl I mean, ad. it was good. It was I, liked it. I liked it. It was all yeah. right. I thought, I thought yeah. it was funny. Much like the um, the halftime show, I thought the commercials, and I stayed away from uh-huh. watching any of them beforehand. 
because mm-hmm. that's something I really kind of felt has been missing from the last handful of Super Bowls because I was watching a lot of the ads before Super Bowl Sunday, and so it was just like watching any other game any other week, you know, because you already saw these ads. But um, I thought the commercials overall were pretty bleh. It was all yeah. off nostalgia. It was yeah. like no. super nostalgia. That said, I did like the Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Duncan one. I thought it was mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, when she pulled up, like, let's go. Right. What are you doing <laughs> here? Right. The hell Give me a glaze. Right. Yeah, grab me, yeah, grab me a glaze. The other one I liked a lot was the uh, the Breaking Bad pop chips. Yeah. Maybe because I'm such a big Breaking sure. Bad fan. That was Probably. funny. But it was good. Yeah. Now, if you never watched Breaking Bad, you weren't getting it all. Right. But, uh, man, it, Tuco's in it. Mm-hmm. It was really funny. I, no, these are the bomb. <laughs> and they're air popped, not fried. Pop corners. You're an artist. Actually, Jesse, it's just basic ingredients. <laughs> no, we don't eat our own supply. Make the wine! Jesse. Everyone's gonna want to taste, and I know just the guy to talk to. What are these? <laughs> we call them popcorners. <laughs> popcorners! <laughs> tight! 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 How much of this stuff do you have? <laughs> We've got six signature flavors. Seven! Here. Seven! <laughs> you make seven! Seven. Seven works. So good. <laughs> That was my favorite one, hands down. Mm. That was uh, really good. I like that Ram one. Did you see that one? Where it was like, you would think it was for... Oh, for uh, premature ejaculation? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Did I miss well that done. one? Yeah. You would have loved that one. Yeah? That it was fun. like, was... do you suffer from premature <laughs> electrification? Right. Like oh. you're afraid that you're going to run out of range? <laughs> of juice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It was so good. That was good. That was good. I kind of like the Uber one as well. Oh, with Diddy? Yeah, with Diddy, yeah, where I they that was good too. all the songs. That was good. Yeah, that was oh, good. The... Yeah, Montel Jordan was in it. Mm. Um, Hadaway was like remixing because like mm. Diddy don't do jingles. Right, mm-hmm. right. Diddy mm-hmm. likes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's just sitting there with that dumb grin on his face. Right. I, thought, I thought that was pretty good. That was good. Mm-hmm. Dude, the, uh, the Dave Grohl one was boring. Yeah. Thanking Canada for all their contributions. Yeah, but it was filled with fun facts. It was filled with fun facts. I, I will like that, which I, you know, I do enjoy yeah. fun facts, sure. but like, you got Dave Grohl. Can he do something? It was just, I don't know, something a little so bit more interesting. So you thought it was a waste of Dave. Yeah, it was a waste of Dave. Um, the other one, oh, the, um, the uh, Workday commercials. I all put the, that on my top three. With uh, Ozzy. That was funny. Oh, Paul Stanley, and Joan use... Jett, yeah, stop Billy calling Idol. Stop rock calling star. him a rock star. I yeah. like that one. Yeah, because it's funny. Like we hear that crap. All I mean, anybody who works in an office does. Oh, oh dude, yeah, rock you were star. great on well, the meeting. You were great on the pitch on Wednesday, Dave. You're a rock, rock star. star. Yeah, like, ugh, yeah. That was funny. That was, really that was good. Funny. Cliche I stuff. He's a bunch of dorks, and then all of a sudden, you know, Oz- <laughs> Ozzy's in the office. And Paul Stanley, yeah. scolding them. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. That was that, good. I thought that one was pretty good. Uh, people seem to like the John Hamm, Brie Larson getting eaten by Pete Davidson, but I... Eh. Yeah, that uh, one's all right. As just, soon as I saw Pete a, Davidson, it was like, You're like, I'm right. out of here. Just a pun. <laughs> yeah. Brie and Ham. Yeah. Get it? Because he's Ham and she's Brie. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Get it? Yes. What about the Jack Harlow the triangle dur- the thing? The Doritos? Yeah. No, that was dumb. My You're favorite... Like, oh, it's th- all about the triangle now. And, I must have been mm-hmm. peeing. And, I missed uh, that one. Uh, Elton John playing oh, yeah. the triangle yeah. on stage. Grammy like, for the eh. best triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, another, because, there, yeah, there was a lot of nostalgia stuff. The one with John Travolta. Yeah. Yeah. With uh-huh. Zach Braff. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. John right. Travolta just looks too weird. He does. I'm he so does distracted by that, yeah. you know? Bald head. It you could got have the been beard. awesome, but I'm just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, I like the concept. Are you, are you bald on purpose? <laughs> What's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, he is yeah. bald on purpose. I'm like, because that's his look now. I know. Yeah, it's like sea bass, but he actually went the get step. It. Get he it. Embraced it. Yeah. it. He embraced it. He embraced it. Well, now it's very distracting. Yeah. It was for, that. It was for the uh, the T-Mobile home internet thing. Right. Yeah. Like I liked what they were talking about. Yeah. I'm like, I wonder if it is that fast. Should I be switching? Yeah. I mean, it is. Uh, it is cool. I mean, I like all that. Yeah. Yeah, but what? Oh, the other one people are texting over about now was the. Um, the Blue Moon commercial. It's a Miller commercial. No, it's a whatever commercial. It's a Coors commercial. Oh, right. No, and they're like kind of fighting in the bar. And all of a sudden, like, no, actually, it's a Blue Moon commercial. And that was the end of it. Right. Because okay. that that's all their, you know, brands. Right. Well, some uh, of their brands. Did you trip out over the uh, Tubi commercials? Yes. I was, no. <laughs> I thought, Tubi's oh, getting God. a lot yeah. of love today. Did I sit on my remote? <laughs> yeah. That, that was yeah. good. Did you see that? That was pretty clever. I saw it, but yeah. I, I wasn't thinking or TV was got, being right. over I thought that was good. Yeah. Really yeah. well done. I thought it was cool that they um, 
you know, you finally got to see and hear Damar Hamlin. Yeah. Right. I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's too much, like, does this shut all the conspiracy people up, you think? Uh, about what? I would think. Like, they there was said that, that he, whole thing about how he, he wasn't really at the game in Buffalo. Right. Uh, and then, body you know, double. He can't yeah. speak and he can't. You know, it's like, dude. All right. What a weird you know? conspiracy. <laughs> I, people need these conspiracies. Kind of like how Ravi is convinced that the NFL is mm. colluding with Vegas. Oh, definitely convinced. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the fix is in. The fix, the fix is in. Big is time. in. Yeah. Big time. Okay. That being said, I still want money on the game. Of course. That's all I care about. Yeah. So it was like, what? 40 seconds into the game, it seemed like. <laughs> yeah. It was the Eagles' first drive. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Ravy texts me after that first touchdown. She goes, this game rules. Yeah. And she had placed a $50 bet on who was going to score the first touchdown. She bet that it was going to be Jalen Hurts, and the payout was 450 bucks. And I loved because they called it a touchdown for Gainwell, but it's like, oh, it was just a little bit short. And yeah. I'm like, here comes the money. Yeah. Yeah, so she hit for four hundred and fifty bucks. But yeah, this is, and that's how you do that. Mm -hmm. oh, Easy right. peasy. And then uh, see, that was at uh, see. So about an hour later, uh -huh. get another text. She won another three hundred bucks. Oh my god! On the bet with uh, which player will score two or more touchdowns in the game? She bet Jalen Hurts. Oh, okay. And he scored that I second wish I touchdown. I would have had three touchdowns yeah. for Jalen. Yeah. So seven hundred and fifty dollars on a uh. hundred bucks. Wow. Now, the okay. question is, how many other bets did you play that you didn't come through? Yeah, that you lost money on. I won, like, uh, 550 bucks total. Okay. No, you know, That's whatever. not the... Well, no, that she said overall. Yeah. like uh, oh, Okay. So um, you're up. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. She netted. Right. Mm -hmm. She netted that much. Okay. Five. But the big question is, did you get in on the doink pizza? Uh, no. I didn't. Ah, oh, <laughs> fail. That was meant... the first thing I thought <laughs> yeah. when it doinked. I meant to sign up. And then as soon as it happened, I was, I was thinking in my mind, did I sign up? <laughs> Damn, Dang I didn't. It. Oh, crap. I wonder how many people did. I'm sure. I'm Thousands. Fun. Yeah, the people recap. here are free. Why not? Yeah. Uh, like the Bradley Cooper and his mom commercial. Did you see that, that one? Okay. That was okay. That was all right. That was good. That was, right. that was another T-Mobile one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, where the mom just couldn't spit it out. And part right. of me wondered because, I mean, he's an actor. She certainly is not. <laughs> yeah. Like, was that kind of like if we would just have a commercial – like we went, we went to go record a legitimate commercial, and we left because menace can't, right? I mean, can't read, right. can't spit it out, right? You know, and they decided, you know what? That's funny. Let's just go with that. Oh. <laughs> Do you think that's kind of how it worked out? Um, maybe, maybe. I don't think so. Because the mom, the mom's not an actress. No, but a little bit too much money's on the line there. So yeah, I think it was. I'm saying, but they went in there with the idea of doing something, but then all the outtakes no. and just couldn't hilarious. get it together. I don't know. I thought it, I liked that. I like okay. I like the okay. emotional ones, like Farmer's Dog. Oh man, that uh, was, <laughs> that was <laughs> so good. Emotions. You know, I love the Farmer's Dog yeah. one. And then there was another ad I saw that at first I thought, "What is this for?" And it was for Jesus. I thought, oh yeah, oh, I thought, Jesus has been ton, making a lot of appearances. Ton of Jesus in ads. The that was a good one. I saw yeah. a comment on uh, social yesterday. You know, Jesus is down big when he's got to run a Super Bowl ad. <laughs> True. <laughs> that, well, that, that, thought, they've been through the NFL all season. Like, yeah, this is yeah. an ad for Jesus. But a Super Bowl ad? Wow. And then um, the Scientology ad seemed to piss yeah. a lot of people off. Yeah. Oh, of course. That I really just see it. And there, that's another one. They've been running. They've been running those ads all year. Yeah, I haven't noticed. I didn't Did notice Scientology till last night. I thought they ran them last year as well. Yeah, like a dumb money. Curious? No, not so much. Nah, dog, not really. 